<laughs> now it's time for artificial transmutation. Yes, that's right. The incredible skill of being able to take one nucleus, hitting it with a particle bullet through a particle accelerator, and turning that element into a completely different element. This is how we discovered the elements above uranium. We actually made them in a particle accelerator. So you take plutonium and you hit it with an alpha particle and it'll form curium. And it'll also form another particle, what I like to call the mystery particle. But first, how is this amazing thing achieved? First of all, you take an alpha particle that's positively charged and you've got these rings around this hollow tube that's aimed strictly at that plutonium-239 sample. In order to make this work, since now particle is positively charged, we're going to make all of these rings negatively charged. Now, as the positive alpha particle is pulled towards this and passes the first one, we change its charge to positive to give it an extra push. And as that goes through each one, it's pushed faster and faster and faster and faster until BOOM! It combines with the plutonium-239 and turns it into a brand new element. Now, how does this work? We've got to find out a mystery particle. Same way with decay. The law of conservation of mass, the law of conservation of charge have to be obeyed. So if we got 239 and 4 on this side for a total mass of 243, on the other side, we have 242 plus what? Well, 1, right? Because 242 and 1 is 243. That makes it add up to the same thing on both sides. So that's mass of 1. 94 and 2 is 96. Equals 96 plus 0. 0. Now to find what this mystery particle is, we look on reference table O. What's got a mass of 1 and a charge of 0? A neutron. So a neutron is given off when curium is formed from this artificial transmutation. The next artificial transmutation is basically the same thing. We've got California 249 is being hit by a large nucleus of carbon after passing through a particle accelerator. Now, a particle accelerator uses charge to accelerate, so anything that doesn't have a charge, like a neutron or a gamma ray, cannot be accelerated through a particle accelerator. It doesn't have charge, can't use charge to accelerate it. Anyway, the nuclear charge of carbon is plus six, so that can move through the particle accelerator very easily. You form a new element and four neutrons are thrown out. So let's see what we get. 249 plus 12 is 261. And we have 261 on that side equals, now we've got four neutrons. That's like saying 10n, 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 and 10n. So the total combined mass of these four neutrons is four. Plus, well, let's see, what plus four is 261? 257. So the new mass is 257. All right, now on the other side, we got 98 plus 6, which is 104, equals 4 times 0 is still 0 any way you slice it. So 104 is the atomic number. And all we got to do is look on the periodic table and find out what element 104 is. According to the periodic table, element 104 named for the person who discovered the process of artificial transmutation is Rutherfordium. And that's how you do artificial transmutation, turning one element into another by hitting it with a particle bullet, making sure that you obey the law of conservation of mass and the law of conservation of charge when finding out what your mystery particle is.